our passage today goes into this description of uh, you know of kind of a what Paul is saying that uh, the the audience that he's writing to should be kind of uh, acting. You know, it's giving actions for them to kind of uh, be acting out, sort of positive morality, uh, uh, kind of the good side of morality that we think of. And there's one specific part I kind of want to focus in on, uh, though it is tied into this whole passage. In fact, I think it is, uh, It's a, it, you know, I think it ties in especially with kind of the main idea, which would be love, let love be genuine, hate what is, or genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Uh, and that is that this last part of this passage, the last verse, which is live in harmony with one another, do not be haughty, haughty, but associate with the lowly. And that last part especially, I think is something that, uh, you know, we as a society could do better. Um, I think that, uh, you know, oftentimes, while it is very... Uh, you know, uh, you know, while, while there is a lot of kind of talk about, uh, you know, taking care of those who are in need, taking care of those who are poor in our culture today, uh, the actual act of going out and engaging with them and associating with them is something that just doesn't get done. Uh, now, I have a little bit of an advantage over many other people. Uh, is be, at being a TUMC, I do run the our outreach to the homeless. So every month I'm going down with others at our church and, you know, and not just handing out lunches, but I'm getting chances to, uh, you know, talk and speak to uh, uh, some of these individuals and really get to know them uh, uh, and occasionally accept beverages from them. That has happened once. Uh, and, and no, it wasn't wasn't poisoned or uh, anything that I shouldn't be drinking while doing ministry. Uh, uh, it, 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 but, it, you know, it was a cool little, mo- cool little moment. And that type of stuff doesn't happen uh, if you're not associating uh, with individuals who are outside of your own kind of social sphere. And that association, I think, is really important because it's what truly makes you see individuals as, well, individuals, as humans, not as like this kind of abstract concept uh, that you want to engage with and help. Uh, and I think that that's something that we do often lose and miss out on. And it's honestly a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. I mean, I look out in our society and I see so many people who are willing to talk about all the problems and all the you know oppressive systems and all these other sorts of things that are contributing uh, to a lot of the to a lot of the the. the uh, obstacles that people face in their day-to-day lives, uh, but then they're not willing to lift a hand and go down and spend some time and actually, you know, try and engage with these people and deal with their immediate needs, uh, you know, and, and, and de- actually get to, you know, speak with them and build kind of relationships with them in that sort of way. And we should be better at that, you know. I mean, part of the reason why there is this kind of encouragement is because, you know, we do need to understand that everyone is human. That is part of kind of uh, what sort of is baked into sort of the commands that are given to us uh, with within the gospel as well as within Paul's letters is this idea of kind of the equality of every single human being and what that really means. Uh, one of the interesting things that I do kind of think about uh, whenever it comes to this kind of topic is uh, the Lord's table, uh, which I know we often, we say the Lord's table, we talk purely about communion, but you know, back in the time of Paul, back in the time of the apostles, it wasn't what it is nowadays. Uh, you know, communion was an actual meal uh, that was shared amongst the church. Church. And the interesting part of it, uh, and, and the interesting kind of part that comes with all the commands, is that you had in this situation, in these communities, uh, individuals of different socioeconomic uh, stances eating together and engaging together. And at its heart, I really truly believe that that is uh, that is the great example of what the church is. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's completely what the church is, uh, but it is a huge part of it. Uh, is this kind of bringing together of people who are from different backgrounds, uh, different uh, you know levels of education, wealth, whatever, uh, and bringing them all to an equal plane and to you know, kind of a shoulder to shoulder, face to face type situation where you get to know each other and participate in engaging our Lord uh, and, you know and sometimes there are times when when pieces with that are, are, are you know are a little bit different you know sometimes it is a case uh, you know sometimes these interactions do come in other sorts of places uh, you know like what is kind of being talked about here you know or what I've been talking about uh, throughout this where you're actually ministering to somebody there but I think I think these kinds of actions of being of ministering of being 
minister to, of participating together, uh, is something that we all should be doing. And we should be doing with people who aren't just around in our kind of comfort zone. And really, especially with those who are in need, you know, and in doing this, I think everyone will kind of find not only that these individuals are human, but we'll find out what they really need. Uh, we'll find out what's really going on in their lives, where we can help, where we can, where we need to pray, uh, you know, where we can give advice, where we can at times, you know, have it be a shoulder to, you know, cry on and rely on. And, and that is really important because it's something that we all need in our own lives. Uh, you know, and, and we will be, you, you'll be surprised at times because at times, at other times, uh, you know, the people that you think that you are going to be ministering to or should be ministering to will and then <laughs> turn around and be ministering to you as well. And it's that kind of sort of equal relationship that we see in kind of this act of coming to the Lord's table that only is possible when we are willing to associate with uh, the lowly, uh, you know, and I put that in quotation marks now, because uh, really, you know, we all are lowly when we uh, compare ourselves to God. And in that sense, we are all equals. And so I want to just encourage you all to do that today. You know, like, let's not just talk about doing things for people, doing things to deal with con these big concepts. Let's actually go out and help people. Let's actually go out and associate and get to know with them and, and, and kind of get into the, uh, into a, you know, a group, uh, you know, a connect with a group that maybe we wouldn't have normally been connecting to do so before. Because in doing that, uh, you know, you, we will get to know them uh, and we will be able to truly, uh, you know, exemplify that Christian brotherhood, brotherhood. Amen. And now I'd like to invite you all to join me for our last worship song today. <laughs> 